hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am temi manjo and if it's your first time here welcome to this channel please remember to hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and today we're having a weight loss q and a i told you guys to ask me questions about weight loss on my instagram and i'm here to answer each and every one of them so if you ask the question or you are just interested in weight loss knowledge and so on and so forth make sure you keep on watching all right so if you're not even following me on instagram why like i have been telling you the advantages of following me on the instagram so make sure you follow my handle which will appear on the screen now make sure you follow my instagram and do send me pictures of your food your weight loss updates and so on and so forth so let me start i don't know if i should mention their names but let me do, let me mention their names so the first question is from ife underscore amor how much weight do you lose per month on average i don't know how much weight i lose per month because i haven't climbed this scale in a long time and that's because the scale is not what determines how i will feel you know there are sometimes i want to climb the scale because i'm sure of myself and i will just check but what i like to do is check my clothes if it's not fitting anymore i know there's a problem and i know i have to do something quick i know how to do something fast so let's say let's let me just use an example of maybe when i just started losing weight on keto the first month i lost about 8 kg in the second month i lost about maybe 10 or 12 all together and then the following month minus 2 kg minus 2 kg minus 2 kg it started drastically and then it began to reduce like 2 2 kg 2 2 kg so in a month i don't know how much i really lose except i like document it intentionally so lady andy says is low carb same as keto well i like to think low carb is keto there are two types of low carb that me i know that are in my head so the first low carb is the one where you are in ketosis you've been on a keto diet for more than a month and you are beginning to eat food in low carb that's with almond flour and coconut flour you're beginning to have um keto tortillas you are beginning to have keto bread all those things are keto low carb they are termed low carb also there can be the low carb where you have normal food you have your rice you have your yam eba all those things but you are having very very little amount of carbs and then a lot of vegetables and moderate protein so those for me are like the two low carb foods i understand so one is keto low carb and one is low carb low carb Osione underscore underscore. Hmm. I have no question. You educate us on weight loss so well. Thank you. I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay. Adalgo says, can regular S hash X, S hash X lead to weight loss? I beg, no block me. I don't know ask people that are experts but i like to think so because it's a form of exercise i mean your heart rate increases you your blood pressure should go down and i don't know i like to think s hash x will make you lose weight yummy mommy yay yummy mommy life if you don't know yummy yummy if you don't know yummy mommy eh? you don't know anybody on this youtube so yummy mommy also has a youtube channel and i binge on her content like when she uploads a, a a video like this i click on it and she's asking me do you ever do intermittent fasting ha <laughs> i do it like my life depends on it like i don't think my progress should be this fast if i'm not doing intermittent fasting because intermittent fasting is one of the fastest ways to lose weight and if you like to see a detailed video about intermittent fasting please click this link it's very important watch this video as i explain in details everything about intermittent fasting so you should do intermittent fasting because it's like a cheat code for you to lose weight honestly just stop eating at a particular time and the following morning you know leave out the time till your fast is done and then eat again so it's like a cheat code for me to lose weight and intermittent fasting 
excuse me intermittent fasting the length the period where you fast is more important than the time so it's not as if it's when you do it for longer you will lose the weight is when you do it the same time every single day the same time every single day the same time every single day that is when it will be more effective as to if it is long so yes i do intermittent fasting a lot and it is quite easy for me because i just like to stop eating at a particular time and the next morning i eat again so olayu wala underscore dami dami lola do you have a cheat day if yes like what and what do you eat on your cheat days of course i have a cheat day even on keto let me not lie i do have cheat days there are some days i'll be so tired but the thing about cheat day is when you want to cheat be intentional about that cheating okay don't because it means that you planned it and you have plans of how to get back on track when you want to cheat I would like to have like my normal meal first then i'll have my cheat meal so that way i'm not eating the whole cheat meal i'm filling up my stomach with so many cheat meals so it's like i had half of the cheat meal so i kind of cheated the cheat meal so i won't lie to you i do have cheat meals there are some days i just get tired and you know i fry plantain and eat rice and that's it but the following day i know i have to get back on track i don't feel guilty zero guilt zero whatever it is i get back on track almost immediately because uh, will i kill myself no it was just one food although it will bring you out of track it will take you out of ketosis but is it going to make you gain all the weight back never so don't feel bad you can have a cheat day but don't turn your cheat day into a cheat week and don't don't turn your cheat week into a cheat month that's the mistake a lot of people make so if you have a cheat day make sure you get back on track the following day highest the next day so you can have two cheat days and get back on track Tiwa Bright, hi Tiwa. Do you do how do you deal with cravings? Well, see, I would like to say for me, I don't really have cravings when I black out my mind to food I'm not meant to have. So should I say I have like a selective memory? Whenever I'm on keto, all I crave is keto food. When I'm on low carb, like I'm eating rice, I, I can have cravings and all that. But when I'm a, whenever I'm on keto, I crave only keto food. Like I black out my mind concerning rice, concerning pizza, shawarma, all those things. And even if I see them, I might have eaten already, but I don't think I'll be so tempted to touch it. Except I'm extremely hungry and it just comes into my eyes and I eat it. But I will not I will not be craving I will not be on a keto diet and be craving maybe rice. It it, it never happens. Or I'll be craving plantain. And I make sure I eat when I'm hungry. So that way when I'm hungry I eat I am full there is no excuse for craving or thinking of having something else that is not keto compliant it never happens to me and i think that is a gift nita theos underscore says how does omad actually work fam omad is a magic tool hey omad works like magic but it is hard you know when you want big success you have to put in big work so omad is a magic tool for weight loss if you are asking for weight loss which is like the number one what um number one qualities or number one results of omad aside longevity aside reducing risk of cancer and diabetes omad works like a fire tool but it is also hard eating one meal a day i tried it once and i didn't last two days because i don't know but the funny thing is when i'm of, whenever i'm on keto when my appetite is suppressed i i can eat once a day i don't know how it happens but yeah omad, omad is very good oh yeah gold says how long did it take dear i'm guessing she means how long it take for me to lose weight anyways i lose weight and gain weight on and off because me and food we have a very very 
I don't know. I'm trying to balance how I eat, how I will deal with eating junk food, with eating healthy food, not turning my cheat days into cheat months. So how long did it take? I'll start by saying that this question, or I would like to answer this question by saying the how long it took me to lose weight in 2017. It took me about five months to lose about 20 kg five to six months about five months to lose 20 kg thereabouts gloria underscore galadima gloria was my roommate in, in uni how effective is intermediate fasting i think she means intermittent fasting so how effective is intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is effective if you do it consistently you can't do intermittent fasting for two days and be expecting to have results already just like you can't go go to the gym and lift for two days and be expecting to have muscles biceps abs and all that you have to do it consistently and like i explained you have to do it the same time every single day your eating window must be the same time your fasting window must be the same time every single day so you cannot have like today you, you do 20 hours next tomorrow you do 18 hours you know if you want it to be effective you have to do it 16 hours 16 hours 16 hours 16 hours every single day that is when you'll get the most effect of this intermittent fasting and like i said i'm going to leave a link for intermittent fasting i left it in a card so you can also check my description bo box i'm also going to leave it down there all right moving on when says my keto urine my keto urine test strip doesn't want to change color i'm tired i don't use keto urine strip i've never even looked for it i've never asked for it how i know i'm on keto on in ketosis already is the headache body pain dizziness and like uh, one kind of magnesium taste in my mouth my mouth tastes really odd and then i have slight mouth odor or something like that i've never used the strip i've never used the blood tests i've never used any of that same only damola says when do you start seeing a difference on the scale when you start keto i think it will be about three weeks 21 days you start to see difference at least you you if you are really really big you see about five kg less i'm not joking because I think that was how much I saw the first time. And I was really big. I was about more than 120 kg. So I was seeing about 5 kg less in 21 days. And I was really impressed. So if you are on the average weight, maybe you weigh like 100 kg, 110. You should be seeing maybe 3 kg less. But the thing is you start to drop drastic weight initially. Then along the line, it just becomes little by little, little by little. Which is still okay. So... I can't really say our bodies are different so you should do it for at least 21 days and you'll be sure to see a difference that if you do it properly Joyce Daniels underscore Joyce Daniels my friend the only one and only day's beauty is it true that keto affects blood sugar levels negatively Whew. number one keto diet is a diet where you do not take carbs you do not take sugar so your blood sugar is going to reduce drastically like your blood sugar will go down and it's very good it's a very good diet for diabetic patients people who have high blood sugar i mean it's most times recommended by their nutritionists people who are overweight to go on this keto diet because that is what it does but when you say does it affect blood sugar levels negatively? I think it does negatively, meaning it, the blood sugar depletes. So yes, it does affect it negatively by only depleting, but not like in a bad way. No, it doesn't affect the blood sugar in a bad way. So this is all the questions I've got. And if you weren't able to ask me a question on my Instagram, probably you weren't following me or, you know, you ignored my story that day you can ask me in my inst on my instagram account instagram channel instagram handle whatever it is and i'll be sure to answer them so we've come to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video and if it was educative remember to give this video a thumbs up and please 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed because it helps my channel grow please share my videos also it could be helpful to many other people don't be selfish share my videos to people okay and i would like to see you in the next video you're about to click on you can check my videos which will appear on your screen here and here and if you aren't following my socials you can check my description box my handles for different socials will be there make sure you follow me and i'll see you in the next one you're about to click on bye Dunk. i've never seen you clearer than now we're flying high